spent our night here at the ski lodge and cabins here in uh, Flagstaff. So we're going to be heading out here and that's the signpost for the ski lodge and cabin. It's a pretty cool spot uh, if you are coming up here um, in northern Phoenix or northern Arizona for that matter. Um, you'll see all this cool stuff. Thank you guys for joining me here at Pick Museums. Today I'm heading to the Northern Arizona Museum here in Flagstaff. Uh, the weather is kind of chilly, but we're going to check it out. Uh, they say it's the gateway to the Colorado. So we're going to see what this is all about. Uh, it's my first time to visit this museum. Uh, the last time I saw it, I was heading to the Grand Canyon. But today, I've dedicated this day just to check it out. So I hope to have fun there. Uh, the interesting thing is that uh, if you want to visit this museum, you have to book early in advance, you know, because they have some restrictions due to COVID-19. So you book in advance and they only allow 10 people at a time to go in there. So we should be there in the next couple of minutes. But if this is your first time on this channel again, uh, please go ahead, subscribe, turn on that notification bell so you don't miss videos like this. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you for supporting this channel. Uh, make sure to like, comment, so that YouTube can suggest this video to as many people as possible. All right, guys, so I'll see you in a few minutes at the museum so we can all enjoy and see what the gateway to the Colorado is all about, guys. All right, cool. So this is how the drive looks like. This is snow country. There's no snow right now, fortunately. And you can see all the pine trees. You know, this is how the road looks like. It's, you know, it's a weekend, so the traffic is a little busy. I think everybody going for camping and all that. But yeah, this is interesting. I always love Flagstaff because they seem to have a lot of things to do. So if you visit Arizona, I would recommend you visit Flagstaff too. Uh, it's northern of it's not northern Arizona, and that's where a lot of stuff are happening. Uh, that looks like some stuff going on. I don't know what it's all about. Is this is this the parking for the museum or what is going on? This is strange. Oh, this is a camping. This camping is packed. Wow. Wow. This camping wow. is packed. There's a lot. Oh, you know oh, what? Gosh. There's a fire. Is this a, a camping? Fire, um, engine in there, so maybe something happened. Oh, something happened. happened? Oh, wow. Maybe someone's getting in trouble for oh, lighting a, a campfire in high fire yeah. area. Wow, this is interesting. That's a lot of... All these people want to go to the camping. I think they spend their night here. Camping. So guys, camping is a big thing in, in Arizona. So if you visit, make sure you carry your camping gear. Fishing, fishing gear, if you like fishing. There's a lot of creeks, there's a lot of rivers, there's a lot of lakes. If you have your boat, make sure you tow it with you. If you have your jet skis, you know, kayaking. all those kayaking, all those cool stuff, make sure you bring them out here. And we should be right to the museum in the next couple of minutes. So I'll just show you guys how the drive looks like. You know, interesting. Here's the sign of Flagstaff. Oh, this is Flagstaff sign here. And they say the city of Flagstaff, founded 1882, elevation 6906. Um, the museum is just a few minutes from here. We should be there. This looks beautiful. Look at that. Some mountains. Somebody hiking there. That's what is common here. Hike, hike, hike. You know. And Grand Canyon National Park Centennial, 1919 to 2019. That was a hundred years of celebrating the Grand Canyon. Um, our next trip, we're gonna be going to the Grand Canyon. So make sure you follow and subscribe so you don't miss on that trip too. Pretty awesome. The weather is, you know. Not that good and not that bad. If you're coming from the Valley of Phoenix, it's hot, but when you come up north, then it's pretty good. Uh, this is the kind of homes they have here in uh, Flagstaff. Uh, let me see. 
uh, last December to the Museum of Northern Arizona. It's just a quarter mile away. This is right there. Um, what else am I seeing here? Yep, so we are here. We are here. It really looks like it's occupied. Occupied, occupied. That's Gateway the museum. Gateway to the Colorado Plateau. To the Colorado Plateau. Cool. It doesn't look busy. It's a good thing we came early. So guys, we're here. We're gonna have some fun. This is cool. I'm so excited. I'm always excited going to a museum. You know. And you too, you should be excited because I'm bringing to you some cool content that you don't wanna miss. You don't wanna miss this, guys. Yeah, so we're gonna go out and check it out. All right, let me get my gears ready. All right, see you in a few minutes. All right, guys, so we're here at the Museum of Northern Arizona. We are ready to have some fun. Fun, fun, fun. They say while enjoying the museum, the mask is required. So, where's your mask, babe? I got my mask. Uh, now on view. They got all this going on here. And this is interesting. This museum displays ideas, not things. That's awesome. Right. Okay, baby, let's go. I'm gonna put on the mask. My mask. Oh, beautiful. Hi. Oh, she didn't get my pen. All right, thank you. You can take the map then. Thank you. Your next stand up was 18 Wooden Street. Now, Kathu Vincent E. Randall was there on the neck of the evening. Mr. Nazaire was there. ก็ทุกข์ใจด้วยใจบ่าเสียสิ่งนั้นเสียสิ่งนั้นแล้วเดี๋ยวที่บ้านมันมีเงินเสียงเข้มข้นเลยเกิดฉากฮานักคนนั
Hopi pots here. Uh, the the older, older ones on the bottom and the contemporary ones on the top. So the Hopi are back here in Flagstaff, right? The Hopi, Hopi are about uh, 80 miles north and a little bit east of here. Okay. Yeah. All right. They're, they're in north, north eastern Arizona. That's eastern Arizona. Yeah. Today they're surrounded by the Navajo reservation. Okay. So their, their population is smaller compared to the Navajo. Oh yeah, yeah. maybe maybe twelve to 15,000 members, whereas Navajos are probably getting close to 300,000. Whoa. Yeah. Wow. Navajos are the largest tribe in North America, yeah. oh, also the largest land area. Oh wow. Yeah, they have land in three states, Arizona, uh -huh. Utah, and New Mexico. Okay. Yeah. The Zuni tribe, are they still there? Uh, they're the largest tribe in uh, New Mexico, uh -huh. uh, Pueblo tribe. They're just across the border in New Mexico from Arizona okay. to the east, okay. and south of Gallup, New Mexico. Oh, yeah. Wow. It takes about three hours drive to, to, to get there. To get there. Yeah. And this is the Rio de Flag Trail. Why do you say it starts from? It's cut this small canyon 330,000 years ago. Wow, this is cool. <laughs> <laughs>